gonna go take it down. Hey, it's uh, Megan's car. No, Megan's getting a new one. We don't know when, but she's expecting to get a new one. Again, she's gonna stick around there. Yeah, okay. right. It's a miracle that uh, her car is last. Her, her gas, this brown little car, she has a sticker on her gas tank thing that says gas prices stink. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how the car is even running. They got these reserve signs for things on both sides. Mm -hmm.
and I would like for you to stay connected so you can be part of building its future. For those who will come after you and for those who will look up to you. The best way to remain connected is through your membership in the Houston Alumni Organization. And of course remember, when you become a billionaire, to give back to your alma mater. Make a gift to your college or volunteer to mentor a young student. It will add value to your life and it will also enrich in the value of your degree. So I want to see all of you back next fall for every single football game. Let's wear red and fill up those stands and cheer our Cougar team to victory. Again, congratulations to all of you and go Cougs! Thank you, Dr. Kapoor. I'd like to introduce Associate Dean Dr. Latha Ramchand, who will introduce our outstanding undergraduates. Ladies and gentlemen, the C.T. Bauer College's outstanding undergraduate for spring 2008 is Jessica Fung. <laughs> Jessica graduates. She graduates with a bachelor's degree in accounting and management, along with an impressive list of extracurricular activities and participation in several student organizations into the Rounding Society, as well as being a member of Beta Alpha Psi, and she is also a member of the university's Model Arab League. She is a member of the Bauer Business Honors Program and is a recipient of the Ted Bauer Student Service Award for 2006. In 2007, she was recognized with the Department of Accountancy and Taxation Leadership Excellence Award. She has balanced her schoolwork with internships at Price Waterhouse Coopers, Conoco Phillips, and Protivity. Interestingly, she does not want to leave the Bauer College. She wants to come back to us. That's called management. And so as you embark on your careers, armed with your degrees, you will ultimately find yourself having to both lead and manage. And let's talk about leadership and the characteristics of, of leaders. Leaders come in every size, shape, race, gender, religion, nationality. No one has the franchise of leadership because so much of it comes from the intangible qualities of individuals. We see this in the words and actions of the leaders we have read about and studied about throughout our careers. One characteristic that I've seen in all of them is the lack of the fear of failure. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. I don't know about you here today, but I have made a few mistakes along the way, at least three of them that I can remember. But you learn from them and you move on. And I may get in trouble for saying this with all of the family members here today, and your parents especially, it's okay for you to take risks. Because if you cannot be afraid of failure, you will be better leaders by having learned from the experience that failure teaches you. In fact, Henry Ford said it best and that failure was simply the opportunity to begin, to begin again, but more intelligent. And leaders also have to be visionaries like Noah. They have to anticipate the future and act on it. The late Mohandas Gandhi held the belief that we must power other English oppressors. In the end, Wallace dies for his cause, but in the wake of his death, the people of Scotland developed the courage to stand together and fight for freedom. Their commitment and loyalty were not to Wallace the man, but to the cause and to the vision that he inspired with his passion of leadership. Success is yet another characteristic trait of leaders. Successful leaders all have a commitment to enduring excellence, because that is what makes good companies great companies. The leaders do recognize that while failure can be contagious, success can be infectious. The winner of the Super Bowl was awarded the Lombardi Trophy. Vince Lombardi was the former coach of the Green Bay Packers and died long before most of you were born. But to many more, to many people, he was more than just a winning coach. He was an inspiring leader who had the ability to make better, make his teams better than they thought they could be. 
He held the belief that the quality of a person's life was directly proportionate to their commitment to excellence, both on and off the field. So you would say, how does this apply in the business world today? The companies that you work for today, To my right are Mr. Robert Casey, Associate Dean for External Relations, Mr. A.J. Rincon, Managing Partner, Rincon Capital Partners, LLC, Dr. Bashir Kumwala, Chair, Department of Decision and Information Science. Please be seated. I'd also like to recognize three other, three other groups of people at this time. The faculty of the C.T. Bauer College of Business who are truly distinguished in their teaching and scholarly research accomplishments. I ask the class of 2008 and this audience to acknowledge with me the fine work and dedication of my faculty colleagues. Will all representatives of the Bauer College faculty, including those on the platform party, please rise and be recognized. There's Randall. To the very end. Tatiana yep. Antonio, cum laude, membership at the Honors College. You be all right. Every now and then I'll stop and pause this thing so I can break it up so it's not just one long video clip. Walter Mauricio Rigetta,
Sonntags im Nähe zu schauen.